Hello, people, it's Poet. We're in the Red Cube server. Look at my little sheep. <laughs> I've got hundreds of them. Well, it doesn't look like hundreds, but lots of them. And they're providing me with their woolly goodness, the cyan wool, for this. <laughs> this is a project that I started... Oh, well, it's actually been in my mind from the very beginning. Um, I don't know if it looks right yet. <laughs> like, maybe it needs... I used to have a, another layer of the birch around this bottom row where my cursor is. But then it made it look like the roof was only so big. And so I kind of took that out. And now I don't know if it looks right. It's almost like maybe I need to go around with another row of cyan wool. I'm not sure. But that's the idea behind the little towers. Just a, a couple layers of the birch wood and then more spruce and then the cyan wool for a roof. And I've also made it kind of um, cup shape, dish shape. <laughs> what, what shape? It's a bowl. <laughs> it's like an arena almost where I have the the three layers of spruce coming out now I didn't really look at this in the last video I was ranting about uh, IT careers and things like that but I had made this it used to be that this big bowl was the same level as these things which was actually down to here so it was only down to here and I raised it up <laughs> that much. So a lot of work has been done and if I go inside you can see that um, yeah it's looking good. I've done the inside of this one too. These two haven't started yet but I guess I just wanted to to get the finishing touches on the floor part done today. Don't know why I'm having trouble speaking. I just woke up so that's probably part of it, but uh, I'll manage, I'll, I'll manage, I'll be awake. So the cyan wool goes up to here, I don't know if this looks right, so I'm going to just take it down, I'm going to be covering this anyway, uh, in fact I'll probably be covering this row as well, so really it was kind of just for show, having the cyan wool on this top level. Okay, should we go down there and take a look? Yeah, let's go look. So this is what it looks like inside. Very nice, I think. Very nice views. Yeah, this will look good. This will look very good. So, with that, I'm going to make a top row. Uh, I guess i got to go and jump all the way down there again. Let's just go. All the way back up. I've fallen so many times. I'm telling you, if I didn't have these feather falling four boots, oh, I would be dead several, several times over. Um, <laughs> you're basically given enough time to scream when you fall from this high. It's, it's just that crazy. So, whoa, 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 whoa. No sudden jerking of the mouse, please, thanks. So what my idea for up here was going to be was to go around like this and just cover this last row. Whoops, not there. Come on, chew it out. There we go. And just go around the perimeter. But really, this, this birch wood floor would go out several blocks. So you'd have another row starting in here. And it'd probably go out one, two, three, three blocks or so. And this would be just like a base floor, maybe four or five blocks even. I want it to be a, a rather large floor around the perimeter of this circle. So this will be the floor. All right. So what can we talk about today? I don't know. 
How are things going with you guys? Things have been going pretty good post-Christmas. Um, family is still coming over. We didn't have our Christmas dinner um, on the usual day because uh, people were working and time was just not with us. So we we didn't have our, our normal Christmas dinner uh, that we usually have. And uh, like I was saying in, in previous videos and stuff, that really is my my present. So it's like I really haven't had my, my Christmas present yet. Uh, we're having our Christmas dinner for uh, as a, like a New Year's dinner instead. So, yeah, that's coming up very, very, very shortly. I don't know when I'm posting this. I'm probably posting this, well, who knows when I'm posting this. So it could be after New Year's, could be before. I really don't know. Happy New Year's, everybody. Welcome to 2013. <laughs> if it's not there yet, then just hold tight. Just wait. It'll be there. Now, let's see. How far are we? Uh, doing pretty good. We still got lots of birch on us. Yep. Probably not enough, but <laughs> we'll do our best to, to get there. Is this right? Yeah. This is right. This is right. Just keep going, poet. You're okay. I should have grabbed some more birch before I came up here, but I actually put some away. I don't know why. I guess I didn't, in my mind, think it would be this this birch heavy getting all the way around. But then I've got to go around a couple more times to expand the floor. So, oops, didn't think that one out. I've got lots of room in my inventory, so that wasn't it. Uh, is this right? Why is it looking this way? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. It's right. I'm I'm confusing myself. Okay, we're going. We're good. Ah, so lately, I mean, this time of year is is really hard on people. Um, I kind of touched on that last episode as well, where this this time is it, it can be very hurtful for people who don't get a lot or who have had family uh, who have passed away. Or maybe this time of year uh, was very hard because of the fact that they never got things as children. or uh, You know what? There's many, many, many reasons. But they say that um, the depression that people feel, especially those who have like uh, clinical depression, it's, it's much stronger this time of year than it is any other time. Um, and I can definitely see that with a few of the friends that I have. Um, I, I, I don't want to say that I've been playing doctor or anything like that, but, you know, uh, some of them have been having a real hard time with with coping, I could say. Like, if 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 you think that it's hard for you, it's it's really, really, really that much harder for someone who has, like, a clinical depression. Because they, there is no turn-off switch. There isn't um, a way to say, okay, you should be happy now, and then they'll be happy. This just it doesn't work that way. Um, they can't really help it in a way uh, because it's it's a medical condition that they have. So you can't just you know put on a happy face and and hope that they catch it. They they won't. So for me, my friends, uh, it's it's really been hard because they they basically have this mindset, and it's it's really really difficult. They have a mindset where they aren't worth it. I could kind of say that, like they think, you know what? Why am I even here on this world? Because nobody cares about me, and nobody likes me, and you know, life isn't worth it, and I'm having too much of a problem with life, and this and that. Even if you are standing right there saying to them, look, I like you, you're you're a good person, you have a lot to live for, they'll go right, right back to saying, nobody likes me, uh, everybody hates me, you know, that kind of mentality. So it's really, really, really hard to be uh, the kind of friend who can support that, and... Uh, I mean, if you have someone in your life, or maybe if you are one of those people, I mean, you, you just got to find the strength to keep going on yourself, because, yeah, this time of year is, is hard for some, so 
I, I really hope that uh, if, if you have a friend like that, that you're doing your best to, to help them out. Um, and that's all I really have to say about that. <laughs> Don't give up. That's all I can say. Because, well, let's see. Do I have any advice? Because, I, I mean, I've dealt with it a lot. Um, my my ex-girlfriend had clinical depression. Um, probably some kind of a bipolar disorder. I'm no expert, so I'm not even going to speculate on what they had. Um, and, you know, it's it's very difficult. Because you can show all the love in the world... But they won't see it, kind of like that, which you you almost think that you're doing something wrong, but it's it's not your fault. You gotta right away think that it's not your fault. They can't help it. Um, so I mean, just try try your best to to deal with it. Ultimately, it might mean that the relationship will suffer, but as long as they are still alive and kicking and generally happy then you should be feeling accomplished that you've you've done something with their lives it it's just so hard i can't even relate it in a story properly i i think but uh let's see what did i i screwed up something here this is already doubled yeah so now i did 3 Huh? Okay. <laughs> and then like this? I guess. I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Yeah, yeah, like this. Whoops. Filling the gaps like that. Yeah, this is right. This is right. How's it looking? Looking good. I think. Okay. So, I mean, it is a really touchy subject. Um, a lot of people don't want to deal with it. Uh, or they think that it doesn't exist. Or they think that, you know what, you should just be thankful for what you have. Why are you feeling so depressed? You know, suck it up kind of attitude. And I got to say, though, you know, as someone who has known uh, many people with depression, um, it's not that easy for them. And, I mean, that's the unfortunate truth about it. But <laughs> we got to try hard to, to make them feel like life is worth living. Ah, that's, that's, that's almost depressing me talking about it like that, but let's see, this is, is this right? I think I've messed up somewhere, but I don't have the ability to determine where. Like, this looks way too thick right here. One, two, three, four, five long. Like, that doesn't look right. Huh? One, two, three, four, five. Well, maybe it's right. I don't know. It just doesn't look right. I've been kind of going so that I can't see... Like, if I see a gap like this, just the, the corner of the piece, I fill it like that. But then it makes places like this way too long. Two, three, four, five, six long. It's crazy. Is that right? Because then that would be like that. Well, maybe it's right. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. As long as I'm consistent, it'll be right. Okay. So basically what I've done, I was going to do the second layer, but I've kind of jumped ahead and done the, the second and third layer along here. Um, which is okay. I mean, saves time. I don't have to go back again. So just go along like this. There's the second layer. And then this will be the third layer. Okay. That's looking good. I think. I hope. 
if it doesn't look good, then I, I can always just tear this all down again. It's not the end of the world. I can tell you that. Like that. Yes, this is looking good. Perfect. I think we're doing good. This side seems to be going much easier than that side. Maybe I screwed something up with the bottom blocks. Because that's what I'm using to guide myself and, well... <laughs> it just looks it looks different. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Huh? Oh, I missed a block. Wow. Look at that. I, I can't believe I was able to spot that. Okay, but the rest seems right, if you can believe it. Well, I'll just keep going. I don't have any torches, which is going to be a miserable thing up here. But uh, I guess we'll just deal with that when that that happens. Now, maybe I could just take pause here. Well, should I should I finish? There's still quite a ways to do. i got to do from like where my cursor is right there and go all the way to like right there. So that's like about half left. What I was going to do... And I don't know how this will look. Do I want to do it only one apart? No, I better do it. I better do it two apart. I wanted to do kind of like arches. But I'm not good at doing arches, so... <laughs> I don't know how this is going to look. Let's see. Should they just go across like that and then have like stairs in between? Uh, oh, okay. I got it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Um, how am I going to get this now? Oh, I almost fell. I just know I almost fell. That would have been a disaster. Look at how far up I am. Okay. So what I got to do is make a workbench. Oh, I got two on me. Look at that. I finally have some on me. Um, I'm just going to make it here. <laughs> And I'm going to take these, and I just want to make, I don't know, I need four per arch. So, for testing, I'm just going to make eight. And we're going to see how this looks. Let's see if I can place this properly. That's good. Give me, give me this. Nope. That tool. There we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then like that, like that, and there's your arch. Does that look right? Mm, not really. What I need to do is take these down, take these down, and then place them like that. Let's back up and take a look. That looks a little better, but then I would almost be wanting it to be wider at the top or something like that. Man, I could sure use those siding pieces from the Better Than Wolves mod right about now. That would make it look perfect. Okay, let's take this down. Yikes. I, I leaned to get the block and I practically fell off the edge. Okay, so let's take that now I need um, a half slab. Okay, that gives me more than enough. Let's put that there. How big should I make the arches? That's probably big enough. So now I want to do one, two away from it. Is that right there? Yep. Okay. And... And how do how do I do this? This is gonna take too long for every arch if I can't figure out a way to kind of streamline this. Let's see. Like that. Did I place that completely wrong? Yep. Okay, can't do that. Then I do like this? Yes. And then like this. Okay, let's take a step back and look. Now that's a proper arch. I would say. 
It's absolutely huge. But it's almost how it should be. A uh, little bit of lag there while I while I looked at it. I don't know why. Um, so the total arch is one, two, three, four, five blocks. And I know that these are only ten, so I'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, and start the second arch, like right here. And because these are only four, I'd have to go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's going to be way too hard. So I'm kind of <laughs> I'm taking this idea out of the equation. I'll do something else instead. I'll do maybe like pillars. Yeah, pillars would be fine. And it would still give the effect of arches when I put uh, the little stair pieces in between them. So let's see, three up. One, two, three, because then that makes it four with the bottom piece. One, two, three, four. And then maybe one, two, one, two, three. I'll just do two apart, just like that. Yeah, this is looking good. Two apart. One, two. Oops. And it'll look like that. And then what I'll do probably is put a layer over top of them, just kind of link them up. And that'll look right, I think, I hope. <laughs> It'll give the same effect, and it's a lot easier than, than what I was just trying to do. Yeah. So this is looking good so far, I think. Um, I'm probably going to stop now, just because I know time is dragging on, and this is kind of tedious work. At least it's not diamond mining, but <laughs> it's still pretty tedious. Um, ocean of blue sheep. Look at that. They've completely devoured almost all the grass down there. It's just nuts. You go down there with your shears, you'll probably get, oh, four stacks just from that. It's just a crazy amount. But uh, it's good because I'll be doing, after I've done this part, I'll go around and do, I'll, I'll expand the width of this to three, like I have over there. And then I'll put these pillars all the way and on top of those pillars, I'll be putting another giant blue canopy. So, looking good so far. This is a, an awesome project, I think. Uh, it's taking a lot of time and work, but it's kind of cool because I haven't done something this large in a long time. And uh, this will be my little house. <laughs> I've got my little treasure room. Did I show you my chest room? The bedroom is, is there so far. And... The only reason it's the bedroom is because there's a bed in it, and that's about it. And this is my little chest room. Very, very, very simple. I haven't doubled up the chests yet, or doubled up the furnaces yet. Got my end chest in the middle with all the good resources, because I always need to craft with them. My tons of rubber booties. Uh, this one's probably going to be the one that I wear next, because it has the feather falling, and I need feather falling. These two. And... Uh, yeah, that's a, that about does it. <laughs> the rest are pretty much there so that I can combine them. After I've made rubber booties, I can take these with an anvil and combine them. Someone was wondering why I have so many of them. <laughs> I love them, that's why. <laughs> so here we are. It almost looks like this could be an arena of sorts. I'm sure people have made arenas smaller than this. Um, but this is my home, so I hope you guys like it. Uh, we'll see you all next time. I better go get some more wood before I, I keep going. See ya!